University in Rochester. The filmmakers are some very special kids under the direction of a familiar name. Joanne Purton has their story. Okay, rehearsals up, quiet please. And action rehearsal. For two weeks this past summer, Hollywood came to Rochester. Joey flies in every summer with his crew from California. Joey is Joey Travolta, a filmmaker, actor, and brother of Hollywood's John Travolta. He brought his Inclusion Films camp to Oakland University, where kids on the autism spectrum got to spread their creative wings with a friend or family member by their side. Take one, Mark. It's just amazing that I like working the slate. Okay. All these kids, they have gifts uh, beyond people's imaginations and that's what's great about filmmaking because we're using our imaginations. During the week, each group of kids creates a seven-minute film. First, they come up with a concept. Go ahead. What, what, tell me about your, your project. And then pitch it to Joey. In Star Nuts, it's a crossover parody with Star Wars and Star Trek. When they get the green light. I really like this concept. <gasps> yeah! They write it, act in it, shoot it. Everybody's got a job. It becomes a village. It becomes a family. A lot of kids with autism are not included and not a part of the group. Here, you become, uh, you have a common goal to make a film. Joey's been a filmmaker for years. He's also taught special education and knows what it takes to bring out the best of these kids. Take one, Mark. Charlie Levinson plays a judge in his group's movie. Charlie also happens to be my nephew. We make movies, you meet people and make friends. And learn some stuff, play some games. As for the finished products, they'll be shown Saturday night at that big red carpet premiere at Oakland University. That's the fun part about it. And when you see the final product, that people come and they, they just love what, what our kids do. They'll also be showing a 35-minute mini documentary about the camp in which we can all learn a lot from these special kids. If you could change people's opinions about autism, what would they be? It's not always a bad thing. A lot of people think it is. And a lot of people believe that autistic people can't do that much. They really can do a lot. In Rochester, I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News. Oh, wow, they can do so much. They each yeah, have their own individual absolutely. talents. Yeah.